Hey guys, Logan here. We are just days away from EA Play Live. On Thursday, July 22nd, we finally get the more info on Battlefield 2042. We did get a lot of questions answered last week by DICE, but there are still things that will be revealed. One thing that we know is that the former DICE LA studio, now called Ripple Effect, will reveal the so-called love letter to the core fans in the form of the return of fan-favorite maps from previous games in the franchise. We don't know what maps we'll get and how exactly it will fit into Battlefield 2042, but my guess is that we'll get a separate game mode that will play out on remastered maps, but with Battlefield 2042's engine. But what old maps are we going to see? I've asked around in the community and got a list here of maps that we want to see make a return in Battlefield 2042. Let's go! Starting with the fan favorite map, Noshar Canal. This tight infantry based map was featured in Battlefield 3. It's a very nice map to just jump into for like some close quarter combat and maybe want to train your reflexes because the combat on this map can get really fast paced. Next map is Operation Metro. Originally featured in Battlefield 3 but then brought back in Battlefield 4. Also an infantry based map with flags in a linear line. This is one of those maps that you either love or hate. It can get a bit explosive spammed and grenade spammed and the map have a lot of choke points, but it really brings the battlefield feeling to the game. And here we have the map Gulf of Oman. This map was featured in Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. This map invites to both vehicle gameplay as much as infantry gameplay. And I can absolutely see this map make a return in the next game. Now here is a real classic in the Battlefield franchise. The map Strike at Karkand. Featured in Battlefield 3, this map is set in Kuwait City and features both infantry and vehicles. And if you're looking for some great urban warfare, this is the map for you. I really hope to bring this map into Battlefield 2042, I would love to see how it looks in that game engine. Here we have a true fan favorite map that's been in two games already. This is Operation Firestorm, featured in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. A lot of tank combat, but there's also air you have to conquer if you want to be successful on this massive map. And here's a fan favorite, Dam Wan Peak. This map is mostly known for its 500 meter base jump in the rush game mode. One of the coolest things I have ever experienced in a battlefield game must be that jump to get to the third MCOM stations. And you have to admit, the beginning of the reveal trailer for Battlefield 2042, you know when the soldier in the wingsuit ju jumps down from the helipad there? Yeah, it really reminds me of this base jump on this map. Heading back into the city landscape and the map Siege of Shanghai. Featured in Battlefield 4, and it delivers a lot of vertical gameplay with the skyscraper rooftops and air vehicles. This map was actually the map we got to play in the Battlefield 4 beta several years ago. And it's such a favorite in the community, so I think this is one of the maps that we will see make a return in Battlefield 2042. Next up is the map Caspian Border, that was featured in both Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. This is a true battlefield map, we got all kind of stuff to do here. Play as infantry to get close with the enemies or get in a tank and defend objectives. Of course you can take the fight to the sky with some true dogfighting with airplanes or helicopters of course. I don't know if I have to tell you what map this is, but this is Wake Island. This map first appearance was in Battlefield 1942, yes the first game, but it's been featured in a lot of battlefield games since then, latest one being in Battlefield 5. A true fan favorite map that I think will make its return in Battlefield 2042. And for last but not least, the map Arika Harbor from Bad Company 2. Arika is a city in the northern Chile and features both vehicle warfare and urban combat. It will be cool to see such an old map play out in a new game engine, so I really hope they include this one. There you have some of the maps the community would like to see return in Battlefield 2042. But I want to hear what you think, tell me what maps you would like to see in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more content and hit that like if you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in my next one. This is Logan, signing out.